what's going on what's going on guys jada black i'm back with another one make sure y'all like this video and share it because i'm going to talk about angel reese it's been a minute since i've spoken about angel reese and i want people to understand something um because they may not like my take some some of you may like what i have to say some of you uh may not but i'm going to speak about angel reese in the sense of everything that's going on at lsu apparently uh, she has had an issue ever since the start of the season. Um, they got blown out in a game earlier in the season, I believe against Colorado. Uh, she actually was benched and then um, she did not travel with the team uh, for a most recent game. And it seems like there's something going on, like the chemistry with the team just isn't right right now. And it seems to me that the coach is trying to, is trying to salvage this team right because they won the championship last year to all this fanfare and now you're seeing the drama see this is what nil does not only that but you got the fact that angel reese has been on a banquet she's been on the banquet circuit she's been doing a lot of interviews she's been around a lot of celebrities you know she had this big birthday party i believe in atlanta right and she's getting all this nil money which again i have no problem with at all um if companies are willing to have you uh to will to sponsor you it is what it is you know i'm not a hater of that at all you know um but it seems like the team chemistry is off they date because the thing is is that they were putting together a super team at lsu putting together a super team and it looks like it's getting all it's not getting all to the right to the right foot you know what i'm saying and people are believing that angel reese is a part of it i don't think that it's all her i think you're you know every year now because of the transfer portal a college sports the nil you're gonna have mercenaries people are gonna be there for their own agenda and when you look at angel reese and her teammate flage these two have been cool on and off the court. Flage is someone who wants to pursue rap. Um, I don't know how much longer she's gonna be at LSU because she really wants to get into that, that game, right? Well, apparently something has happened between them because now their parents are going back and forth, well, their mothers are going back and forth with each other. And, and that to me solidifies some of the rumors that we heard about these two. There was a rumor that her and that Angel Reese and Fly J Johnson were uh, more than just friends. Now this is on uh, SandraRose.com. You see that? You see that headline? Angel Reese and teammate Fly J Johnson are more than friends. This was so. This was a rumor back in the summer. But what was very interesting about this rumor? was that right after this rumor went viral, because a lot of people sent me this uh, months ago, I didn't make a video on it because I because one, I didn't want to just make a video around a, a rumor like this. And two, right after this, Angel Reese had a boyfriend. Because y'all know she was being courted by all these different uh, guys, right? But she ended up dating another, I believe, college basketball player. I saw a comment on Twitter where people were saying, you know, she's running around, running behind this new boyfriend of hers. You know, she's more focused on him than she is her own career, which is typical female behavior. When these women become in, infatuated or in love with somebody, they're going to be more focused on that person than they are themselves. You see, Angel came out of nowhere. Her and LSU to have the success that they had let's be real about this they weren't always a dominant powerhouse now i didn't i didn't pay too much attention to college women's college basketball but they won a championship this year nobody really expected them to go as far not not i mean for what i saw right then they had the game where she got into it with caitlin collins and look you and a lot of you 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 black people you were so like cheering for her. She's going against this white woman and she's winning, right? Not understanding that you, she still has to come back and, and play, right? <laughs> you know, 
and she has to be focused, right? When I saw her and all the, the things that she's been doing and up and all these celebrity friends she has now, I wondered if she was still going to be focused. And to me, it doesn't seem like it. It seemed like her mind is on being a celebrity now, an influencer, because I just don't see her working out in the WNBA. I just don't. Look at what she said after she won the championship with LSU. She said that she didn't need to go to the WNBA. Now, again, I'm not a hater. I'm just pointing out the fact that LSU's team chemistry is completely off. And she's the one who's being sat down, not Fly J, not nobody else. She's being sat down. Why is she being singled out? And I know what y'all are going to say, because y'all say it every single time these situations arise. You're going to say it's race, even though there's a team full of black women. We, we can't use that. We can't use it. Angel Reese has the same coach she had last year. There's no difference in the coach. So let's get into the story. Why, why these and moms are embarrassing each other because they want their daughter's attention and spotlight on themselves. Let's be real about this. It's according to Bro Bible. Angel Reese played just 13 minutes during LSU's women's basketball blowout win over Kent State on Tuesday. The true reason for her benching has not been stated publicly. Head coach Kim Mulkey called it a coach's decision and Reese did a very good job at taking the high road. Not long after the Tigers won without Angel Reese on the floor for the entire second half, beef broke out amongst mothers of athletes on the team and former players. It may or may not be correlated to what transpired on the court and the online tension has since died down, but the drama is real. Reese's mother, Angel Webb Reese, posted the following message on Instagram. Folks, please do not send me long messages with a bunch of grammatical errors. It gives me a, gives me a I guess, I guess that meant to say headache, but this is head age. How do I know if you said what you said, if I can't understand what you're saying? This according to Angel Reese's mother on Instagram. The root of her post is not entirely clear. There was initially some speculation that it was directed towards a flash. Either way, Johnson's mother got involved. Kia Brooks responded to Reese's mom with an Instagram story of her own. Here we go. She alleged that Reese has a GPA no greater than 2.0. Holy crap. What? Now I'm not saying that that's real. She could just be joking, but if anybody knows Angel's GPA, it would be one of her teammates who she's close to. Now, if that's true, that's crazy. But again, this is college sports. I'm seeing, I, I've heard she's not even going to class anymore. Uh, it's because she's doing, she's doing her courses. Now, I'm not saying she's not doing anything. She has resigned herself to doing her courses, I guess, where she's staying, whether it's a off campus apartment or in a dorm, like she's not doing, she's not going to classes, I guess, because of how famous she is, quote unquote. You definitely know about grammar errors when your daughter got a 2.0 or less GPA. And in fact, when writing your smart message, you didn't capitalize, nor did you use any periods. Stop being petty, fake and hateful and take responsibility for you and your daughter's actions. You're just as responsible. You raised her that way. Nobody give a damn who you think you are since you came up off another's brand. Just like God gave it to you, he will take it right away. That's interesting. Now, there's like a hint of, of jealousy there. I'm not saying that Fly J's mother is jealous, but She's talking about the God giving her something and taking it away. I'm telling you right now, the, the notoriety that Angel Reese has, it has these people in their fields. It has thrown off team chemistry. And again, I'll tell you, I don't come from a place of hate at all. I was not gonna speak about Angel Reese, probably unless it was something that came up like this. But even though there was stuff that was going on, 
I had been sent stuff. I've been hearing stuff. Again, I wasn't going to address it. I'm addressing it now because the parents are involved and because there were rumors that Angel and Flage were more than just friends and teammates. And this is solidifying those rumors. This is absolutely solidifying the rumors that her and Flage are more friendly with each other than we know. Because what other what other reason would her and Fly J have issues? Every time we you see them around each other, they seem cool with each other. So why all of a sudden is there beef now? Is it because of who Angel was dating? Could that be the cause? I'm telling you right now, women are viciously jealous. They really are. And it may not even be money. You know, maybe Fly J is getting NIL money too. Maybe not on, on Reese's level, Angel Reese's level. But, you know, we have to look into these things. We can't ignore them. Brooks later posted again with the following quote. I'd rather be real and reject it than fake and accept it. What does that mean again? <laughs> what does she mean by real and reject it? What does that mean? then fake and accept it. That's a really telling line. That is really like people say you're looking too deep into it, Jay. No, I'm not. Cause I've been doing this for, for, for a long time. Whenever you see something like this, what does, what's the first thought that comes to mind when you see a line like that? I'd rather be real and rejected than fake and accepted. What, what does that mean? Joss's mother added her own commentary on top of the quote, never will I be fake. Right is right and wrong will always be wrong. That's according to Kia Brooks. Brooks later deleted the first post from her story as soon as things started to escalate. Now, this is where an ex-teammate is going to get involved. There's an ex-teammate by the name of Alexis Morris. I'm going to show you Alexis. Alexis is on the far left. That's that's her. I made a video about her because she got she was a WNBA player. She got drafted out of LSU. She got released right before her rookie season, and I made a and she went off on the veterans, and I made a video about that. Right. As a matter of fact, I may link the video in the description of me speaking about Alexis Morris, but she was a teammate of those two uh, during their championship winning season says it started with alexis morris who played for the tigers from 2021 to 2023 now she left early she left early to go to the wnba and it didn't work out for her she won a national title in april and was drafted in the second round of the wnba draft this is what alexis morris has to say via x switched up to gang up on me now y'all falling in and out don't ever choose clout over loyalty free game. I showed real love, not for marketing politics, nothing, but the realists always prevail. That's according to Alexis Morris on X. An even more cryptic follow up post came shortly thereafter. Can we just all get along? Sick? Heck no. That's over with. That's according to Alexis Morris. And then Jasmine Carson chimed in. Now I'm going to show y'all Jasmine Carson. Jasmine Carson is right on the right. That Alexis Morris is on the left. Jasmine Carson is on the right. And this, uh, Jasmine, yeah, Jasmine uh, Carson, she's on the right. This is what she had to say. Y'all better hope I don't say nothing. Morris encouraged her to speak up. Ready, set, go, MF. That's from Alexis Morris via X Carson proceeded to call that what she has to say would be breaking news. <laughs> oh, I know what that breaking news is. <laughs> oh, I know what that breaking news is. Her mother then sent something of a warning shot. Now this is Jasmine Carson's mother. The basketball world is not ready for this. 
Jazz got receipts to destroy that program. What's going on? They got what? What's going on? Are they? <laughs> what they? What they? What they? Um, <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> Morris continued to sound off in four separate posts. The second post was in response to another WNBA player who said that she wanted to see LSU play LSU because what's going on? The fourth seemed to be a jab at Johnson's mom. Out of respect and love for my coach, I'm going to spare them people that part. Get the gloves. You can't play me to bash Kim. You can't pay me to bash Kim. Now, Kim is the coach. Y'all ever notice y'all don't see my mama in nothing? She don't do social media. She don't get in kids' drama. She not calling the coaches pulling power or status cars. None of that. It's according to Alexis Morris on X. Reese's mom eventually caught up on what was going on. She clarified that her Instagram store was not targeted anyone involved with LSU. She was posting about a date. <laughs> oh my God. She's posting about a date. Did the date not go well? Did the guy flake on you? Did he not show up on time? Did he not want to pay for the date? Is that what going on? Angel Reese's mom going on dates. So I guess she's single out here. Oh my God, just catching up. So a woman can't make a jokey joke about her message exchange with a male friend without y'all thinking I'm throwing shade at another person. Stop it, y'all. Folks, there is a certain code that I follow, but my dates will get joked on occasion. That's according to Angel Webb Reese on X talking about her dates. Damn, your dating life is like that. What's going on out here? Although things died down most of Thursday afternoon, Morris responded again on Friday, praying all parties can reconcile because at the end of the day, those girls have to see each other every day. Coexisting with tension takes a lot of maturity, patience, and a lot of biting the bullet. I went through all the, went through it all last year after a parent did the same thing to me. It's all about how things were handled. I was handled like a dog on the street who had never did anything for LSU or Kim, all because a parent had called and claimed I was bullying. It's just something I will never forgive some people for. For allowing some things to be said. And that's according to Alexis Morris on X. That's pretty much it. I don't want this video to get too long. But uh, something is going on. Are they saying that Angel Reese or Fly J's mothers are, you know, are they are they pulling power moves behind the scenes? All I know is something happened. Because how you go from being that cool to being at each other's throat? And it's only the beginning of the the basketball season. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section, but let me know your theories. Make sure y'all like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, X, Instagram, Patreon, all the other platforms. I'll see you on the next one.